Um, you know, off the air we talked about the marginal propensity to consume. The uh, MPC. MPC. Explain to our viewers what the marginal propensity to consume means. If I earn $100, okay, let's say I mow five lawns, I earn $100. If the MPC is 0 0.90, okay, I will spend 90 out of that 100 and save 10. Okay. Now, what, what's great about the MPC is it's the key component of what's called the multiplier. If I take $100 and I spend it on you, Andy, mm -hmm. for your business, what are you going to do? You're going to save 10% and spend 90%. Right. Okay? Your 90 goes to somebody else who spends 90% of that, which is 810. Who spends 810 somewhere else, they save 10%. They spend 729 and around and around and around. And the multiplier works for the nature of two or three times the amount injected grows in the economy. So if we put two trillion in the economy in the consumer's hands, that's going to grow to six trillion of demand side buying. So you're saying, and I'm not. You know, I don't want people to get the wrong impression about this is that, hey, I want my bailout. I want my 14,000. But by virtue of there being a network of people, 138 million people in the United States that pay their taxes, there's a bookkeeping system already in place. Right. These are, this is the network of, of individuals that can go out and spend that money and then it's a, it's a matter of supply and demand. What company thrives from that and what company doesn't thrive? It's, it's as basic economics as you can get, supply and demand. You see, one thing about this which is really good is if you give the money to the common man and woman, they still have the choice. The customer is king and the sellers be it at a bar, be it at a supermarket, be it at a car dealership, still have to buy for those buyers and still have to be uh, efficient. If you dump money into producers or into banks, what do they do? They become more inefficient or they buy more banks. Right. How does that help the consumer? It doesn't, but you give the consumer the money and he or she knows exactly what he or she wants and how to spend it. And the people that you buy, whatever you buy, they have to be efficient to get your business still. It's a very economically efficient way to get the economy jump-started.